Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you coming? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and the least dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Woo! Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Garbage is that. It's fight over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. Jody, you want one? Yeah, cool, sure. <laughs> hey, don't choke on it. I bet it's your first time. No, I've had some before. <laughs> of course you have. Beautiful body. 
What's him? Sure. First time, huh? You got me that way too. <laughs> Hey Jody, you're acting kind of weird. Hey, pale face. You sure you feel all right? You're not looking too hot, Jody. <laughs> Ooh, you look kind of scary like that. <laughs> you okay, Jody? thinking. You're wondering why we're here. I'm thinking the same thing. I know, you told me. I just wanted to see what it would be like to go out and, and have friends. This is not what I expected. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. I, I suppose I've gotten used to it. So you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in, uh, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? On, on the base. So. I've always lived there. I was born there. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. And you, what are you into? It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read, and I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't. I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I, can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, I'm so stupid. I hope I haven't, like, upset you or anything. No, it's okay. Slowdowns. Are you up for it? Sure.
you know? I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know? You're not so bad looking yourself. You're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. I guess you could say that. Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, Great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it. It's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? No, no, no. I, I, I don't have, I don't have powers. <laughs> I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong, just exactly what I needed. Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah. Just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening. Begging for it. Oh. And she's a slut, too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Please! Stop! Stop! Oh, mistress of the obscure go! darkness! Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> <laughs> Out. The first moment I saw I'm begging her. you, please <laughs> let me out. Please. Did someone say cake? Please, no, I want to get out. Please, I want to get out. I'm begging yeah, you, please let me out. out. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here, please! <laughs> Well 
done. Very funny, Steven. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. Chip, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. The door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. <laughs> the windows. Try the windows. <laughs> They're locked. Guys, this is a joke. It's really not. Let's go home. 